Hey guys, welcome back to P Protect Sets PowerPoint Protect Sets. Today I'm here to teach you how to make this three step dark neomorphic PowerPoint infographic. So let's get started. So, first uh, I have cre uh, created a blank site. I'll go to design and select format background. So, I recommend giving it a um, dark color. So, I using the eyedropper tool from my color palette, I'm giving setting the background color. Then I can draw a circle holding on shift key. Uh, I'll keep its height around 8.1 and and here also 8.1. So here what okay it's 7.1 so So I'm keeping the specific uh, dimensions for the circle because I have to maintain uh, the uniformity in, uh, in the infographic. Uh, so I add a crescent shape here on it. So uh, yeah. I'll rotate it uh, 90 degrees to right. I'll give it a darker shade of the background. I'll keep it no outline. I'll go right click, I'll go to format shape. I'll go to FX uh, and then I'll increase the soft edges for 10 points. Yeah. I'll hang it to back and then I'll bring it down. So I'm adding this uh, crescent shape to uh, bring a fake shadow effect. So now I give it a lighter shade of the background. So I'll send it to back. So now I added my shadow effects. I can give the circle a, a same color as the background color. I, I can keep it no outline. So I have this effect. And then I can group this. Align it to the slide. Yeah. I'll add a small circle on it. Uh, let me check the dimensions. Uh, it is 5.19 by 5.1. So, centimeters. 5.19 centimeters. Yeah. So I made it uniform and I added the uh, specific dimension to it. I'll keep it no outline, I'll keep it the same uh, fill as a background color but then I'll add the shadow, uh, I'll keep it top left corner, I'll right click, I'll select on format shape, I'll go to effects, I'll select shadow, I'll change its color. Uh, I'll give it uh, the lighter shade of the background and I'll increase the blur and distance values to 8 points. Yeah, I can duplicate it, I can change the shadow. Uh, yeah, I kept it uh, right uh, bottom right corner. I'll give it the darker shade of background and I'll increase the blur and distance value to 8 points. Yeah, so I'm ensuring that I'm overlapping these both shapes. Yeah, yeah. Then, so, yeah, now I can add a small circle in it. Uh, holding on to the shift keys. So I'll check its dimensions. It's 3.55 centimeter. So 0.55. Yeah, I'll align it to center. Yeah, I'll keep it no outline. I right click. I'll select format shape. I'll give it a gradient fill, and so I'll give it a uh, the background fill and then the darker shade of background as gradient. So to make it new effect, I'll add a sh inner shadow effect like this. Yeah. So now I have this cool neomorphic effect. So when I go to backslide, I have the same effect which I've made. Now uh, I think I can uh, group these all shapes together. Yeah. I 
will duplicate this ones. So for, uh, for alignment purpose, I can add a small rectangle here. I can keep it so uh, where two point nine three. 2.93 so i'm adding this uh, rectangle only for alignment purpose so it's not much yeah i can align the shape properly yeah now i've aligned it i can duplicate it again I can keep it like this. So I uh, select all the shapes. I right click. I select align to slide, and then I'll distribute them horizontally. Now I think uh, I have aligned everything properly, and I have this uh, new morphic effect. I can add my text, uh, text and icons. So I copy them and I paste them. So I think I can make the shapes upward. yeah so i've added so see uh so for these icons i have made a uh, gradient fill so for any icon so i've made a three-step gradient like this for text fields i have uh, used orbit on bold font and then i've uh, given a, a solid white uh, color to them so that's how you make uh, this uh, three step dark pneumorphic uh, effect uh, pneumorphic uh, infographic in powerpoint so don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, p pro tips you can learn more about powerpoint so see you in the next video bye